Well, my husband's been driving my car, so guess what? <laughs> the foot pedal's way away from the seat. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. Can you believe it? All right, I am, oops, can't get too close. This car is very sensitive. It's an older model Mercedes. I can't tell you what it is. I don't remember the name of it. It's really nice. It's a 2008 Mercedes. So, just so you know, we didn't pay a hundred grand for this car, okay? Somebody else did, and we bought it used. It was the original owner, and we got it for $9,000 during COVID, just during the pandemic time just before the cars went like sky high you know what i mean um we really 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 were fortunate to get this car when we did i'm very grateful we had the money and we just bought it and it's now i will say something about having a mercedes when the mercedes um needs to be fixed <laughs> It does cost a lot of money. But we have found mechanics. Like for a while, we had a mechanic um, that would come to the house. Well, we have another mechanic that comes to the house now too. The first mechanic. Oh, Lord have mercy. You guys. He started out great. He um, came. He was, he's like super intelligent. He's a professional Mercedes mechanic. He was literally educated to do. He just didn't like to work in, um, I guess, I'll, find, I'll tell you why. I don't think they would hire him because he had a reputation. So, <laughs> after he'd been working on her car for a while, my sister um, and her husband, they had a Mercedes. So they just said, hey, well, they, they have two Mercedes. So they said, hey, hey, tell us about your mechanic. And we, I said, hey, he's great, blah, blah, blah. So all of a sudden, so they started using him too. So he was coming to them and, and um, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, he got really weird. He started, he, he came over to my, my office where at work because that's where my car was and he had to look at it. So he walks in the office and he tells me he is the richest man in the, the whole entire world that he owns basically owns Russia and he he runs Wall Street and he this and that and he was using throwing around all these high you know uh, money people names you know like and they said and I said well how come you're living out of your car basically you know and he goes oh because I don't have access to my money right now because for legal reasons I don't have access to my money now but I will have access shortly and I'm like okay so I I just looked at him like okay whatever but why are you telling me this it's none of my business you're my mechanic so then he goes over to my sister's house and he starts Some of their 
work on some of their cars. So I just come to find out the guy just lost his mind again. He's probably back in jail because he said he was going to go shoot the pre shoot the president. He, he said he was going to do all kinds of terrible things, and <laughs> it's craziness. It's craziness. These what we went through. It was scary and. I, and, and after that, I've been like locking the office door when the when the guys leave the um, office or something. I used to be fine with it, but now I'm like, no, nope, I'm not taking a chance that that guy might show up because he scares scary, scary dude. So, okay, so that was the story of today. <laughs> Where did that come from? Oh yeah, because we're talking about my Mercedes. Well, there you go. So be careful who you call and make sure they have a good reputation. And we didn't. We, we would never have known that about him. It's sad. And I, I'm not angry with this guy for going off his meds. You know, some I've, I've heard enough that they don't make, they, they, you don't feel good on them. You don't feel good on them. And I understand. But for your own safety and to stay out of jail, come on. I don't care if you're not feeling good. Just take your meds. Okay? Okay. 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 Enough said. All right. I'm almost at work. So I'm going to have to say goodbye for now. And if you like this 